Hello and welcome to Shoreham Academy. In case we haven't met, my name is Jim Coop and it is my privilege to be principal here at Shoreham Academy. I've now worked at the, uh, the school for 13 years, over half of that time as head teacher. And today I'm joined by Lydia Shelley, my senior assistant principal who heads our transition programme. Our goal is to provide you with an understanding of the school and answers to the questions which are on your mind. We really look forward to seeing you in school on Thursday the 23rd of September for our open evening. I hope you've been able to book onto one of our three slots to come and have a look around. If not, there are still some places, so please go onto the website and book. There will be an opportunity to look around the school, ask questions of the senior leadership team, teachers, the SEND team, and of course our students. So just by way of introduction to Shoreham Academy, in case you're unaware, we belong to United Learning, which is a large multi-academy trust responsible for many schools nationally. We are a secondary school that serves Southwick and Shoreham, your communities. And we are in fact a growing school with over 1800 students. We've also got a large sixth form. Sixth form has 330 of those 1800 students. For those of you who lived here for some time, you'll know that we moved into these new buildings around about 10 years ago in 2012. And we are very fortunate to have real state-of-the-art facilities. We are a non-selective school, and it's really important to point this out. And our admissions are run, as well as our appeals, through local authority processes. And we really appreciate the support that West Sussex provide in this. It's important to, for me to mention a little about subscription and catchment. We are only fully subscribed if parents and students apply. And those of you who know the school know that we never rest on our laurels and make any assumptions around us. So if you live in Southwick or Shoreham, this is your local school and you are in the catchment. If you want your child to come here, apply and list the school as your choice. If you have any specific questions which relate uh, to um, admissions or any of these things that I've just mentioned, then please email us on info at shoreham-academy.org or speak with the West Sussex admissions team who are also happy to help. Hard work, integrity and excellence. These are our three core values and they're underpinned by a commitment to high standards. We all agree here at Shoreham Academy to set the bar high and to keep that bar there. We talk about these things a great deal with many of our assemblies and in-school themes linking back to these three fundamental principles. These are the values that we wish our students to live by and we guide them to do so by modelling their values, these values, through our own behaviour as adults. We are a large school but we do work hard to keep a small school feel for our students by having three schools or houses. It's a little bit like Hogwarts, except that instead of having Gryffindor, Slytherin and Hufflepuff, we have Wells, Kipling and Doyle. Each one has its own head of school and pastoral team. It means that every student can be known and supported, not to mention take part in the fabulous inter-school competitions for the Kingston Cup. We are a school that supports every individual. Great relationships start in the schools and then extend into the classrooms. Our approach to support from positive mental health is recognised through our close relationships with the Anna Freud Foundation, as well as many local partnerships. We have a fabulous SEND team. We work closely with our primary schools to ensure that transition is smooth for each individual. We set the bar high in terms of our expectations. For us, this is about ensuring fairness and consistency so that students can excel and feel comfortable in a disruption free uh, classroom and environment. We know that our children can be great and they almost always rise to the occasion. We are a great school and we, the absolute cornerstone of being a great school is our teaching and learning. It is fundamental for our students to be safe and happy. So from that foundation, the sky can be the limit for the progress that they make in terms of their learning and understanding. 
Shoreham Academy is a South Coast training hub for United Teaching. We set the standard in terms of innovative teaching and learning. We train, develop and recruit the best teachers, also working closely with our lo local universities to support other schools. We are a school with an exciting and relevant curriculum. United Learning Schools all follow a challenging and relevant knowledge rich curriculum. We want our children to think hard and to learn new things. We innovate with our curriculum structure. For example, students are taught across history, geography and religious studies subjects by specialists in those fields in year seven to avoid continuity in their to aid continuity in their transition. Being a larger school, we can offer a great range of GCSEs and A-levels, as well as vocational courses. Take a look on our website for the range of courses. They include things as diverse as philosophy, computer programming and uh, Latin. Education with character is absolutely fundamental to what we do. And what happens beyond the classroom is an important um, element in shaping a young person's identity. Students work to fulfil our 10 Shoreham Academy pledges during their seven year journey at the school. In July each year, we have our experience week in which all students have the opportunity to attend a residential trip, as well as a variety of other challenges and activities, both in school and out. We are a school of aspiration. We talk about a lot about having big ambitions and we want to support the achievement of the achievement of those goals by providing great advice. Our careers provision is setting a benchmark for other schools with all students in all years having access to high quality support and advice. As a school we follow the five ways to well-being and being active is fundamental to this. Shoreham Academy has great sporting facilities and a great track record of success in local, regional and national competitions. We encourage all students to compete and enjoy. And our inter-school Kingston Cup competitions involve all students in the school. We have nationally recognised gym, dance and football academies for students to join uh, as they get older. And of course, our annual Tough Runner fundraiser for our whole community to get involved in. Every year we strive to enable students to be even more successful, successful and they consistently achieve outstanding grades, making wonderful progress from their starting point. Even more important than the exam results is the destinations of our students, what they go on to do. Our students accessing the best universities and the most exciting apprenticeships in their chosen fields. Take a look at the school website to get an idea of the exciting things that our students go on to do. As I come to a close on my section before handing over to Lydia, this really is fundamental to what we do. We want to achieve continuous improvement. We never rest on our laurels. We'll never be happy because we don't want to settle for second best. Every year as a school, we challenge ourselves to be better than the last. I'm now going to pass over to Lydia and she'll talk you through some further aspects of your open evening experience and how you can be supported in your research process. Hello everyone, as Jim said, I'm Lydia Shelley and I'm one of the senior leadership team here, uh, responsible for transition. And it gives me great pleasure to work with our younger students and ensure that their transition to Shoreham Academy is is a smooth one. Uh, we offer lots of experiences for students as they move towards transition, starting with community games um, and then we lead into enterprise days, uh, fun days. And then in year six, we have lots of opportunities for them to come uh, and see us at Shoreham Academy. Um, you're going to get the opportunity uh, at, as part of our open evening to talk to some students, but um, there are some students that wanted to represent themselves tonight and film a short piece telling you about their experience at Shoreham Academy so far. Hi, my name's Jack and 
I've really enjoyed my beginning of secondary school and year seven. I think this has been helped by a smooth transition into year seven because of the summer school where we got to meet some of the staff and we got and it was really enjoyable. I think that my favourite subjects so far have been PE and maths, PE especially because of the facilities that we have we get to use and the maths teachers are very nice as well. So I think I will enjoy I think I want to achieve um, good grades at the end of the year and maybe we'll get to the footprint in five. Hi, my name is George. I've just finished year seven, now I'm starting my Although starting a new school can be daunting, all the staff and students are really caring and supportive. Mental time at the start of the day gives you the chance to start every day positively and have a friendly, familiar face to help you with anything you need. There are lots of exciting things to do in year seven, like going camping at Blackman's Farm, where you can get into lots of fun activities. Noah, what does Shoreham Academy mean to you? It means friendship. Have you made lots of friends here? Lots of friends. At breaks, at lunch times, even in classrooms. Do the school have lots of after school clubs to offer? Yeah, they have gym and house game music on my joint tonight. Are the teachers nice here? Yeah, their teachers are nice. And what are they good at? They're good at stopping kids, but they're not supposed to do. Do they help with making friends? Yeah, it does. And are there lots of subjects to do at school? Yeah, lots of subjects to do at school. With my favourites are media, art and drama and PE. Nice. Yeah. Hi, I'm Tanisha. I've just gone into year 10 from year 9 and I'm really happy that I'm finally able to be starting my GCSE options that I picked in year 9. I picked dance, PE and geography and I'm really happy that I get to take PE and dance because I've been doing dance since I was 3 or 4 and now I get to incorporate what I do outside of school and I get to now do it inside of school and I like to like perform and I just really want to be in like the sporting kind of industry when I grow up and so it just kind of helps to have the outside of and the inside of school working together and I can do what I love doing inside of school and like just performing and dance is just really something that I really love to do so that's why I picked dance so yeah hi hi um, my name is Zarina and I'm just starting year 11 I've chosen German history and drama as well as already having completed food and nutrition last year. What I love about Shoreham Academy is there's such a broad range of subjects at both GCSE and A level. Next year I hope to go on to do biology, English literature, German and psychology which I'm really looking forward to. So far year 11 has been a bit nerve wracking naturally but there's a lot of support throughout the five years you're here. Uh, teachers, pastoral teams, other students and just the entire staff really. As you can see um, my tie is slightly different that's because I'm one of the student leaders which is one of the great and exciting opportunities offered here at Shoreham Academy. It's a lovely place to learn I wouldn't have chosen it anywhere else. Uh, yeah. Hi my name is Latoya and I'm currently year 12 in the Shoreham Academy 6th form. Previously in the lower years, I was head girl for doing school and I currently am studying A-level English Literature, Law and Geography after achieving the grades I needed in the lower years. In the lower years, I also went on a Blacklands field trip. I think we do that in year seven. And I also went to the University of Sussex, what inspired me to study law. Um, that's the reason why I want to be a lawyer to study that in university. Hi, I'm John in uh, year 13. I'm currently studying Geography, Physics and PE at A-levels. When I was in the uh, younger years, I did Duke of Edinburgh, where I learnt loads of independent skills, did volunteering, helping out with the younger years with football and things like that. I also got to go on an expedition for a weekend with all my friends, which was, that was really good. Now in uh, sixth form, I'm doing the uh, Soccer Academy, where I get to train two, three times a week with professional outdoor academies and coaches. I also am planning on studying geography at Sussex Uni, which I'm gonna look forward to do that as well.
hope you enjoyed hearing from our students. And as I said, there is plenty of opportunity to speak to them when you come and have a look round as part of our open evening. Uh, there is lots of other information, uh, probably too much information to take in all at one time. But if you go to our website and you go to the parent section, you'll find a transition uh, section of the website. Uh, now, from that, you are able to navigate to our home learning platform, which is called Firefly. You need to use the guest logon details that are provided on the website. And when you click through from there, you will go to our Firefly page. On the Firefly page, you know, please do spend some time with your child looking at this. This not only prepares them for coming to Shore Academy, but also it gives you a sense of um, what we stand for at our school. You can find out a little bit more about Doyle, Kipling and Wells. Uh, your child may already know uh, which school they want to be a part of or where they might be linked, depending if they have a sibling here. Um, if you're not able to come and have a look around the school at the moment, there is also a virtual tour on this page. Um, so you can have a virtual look around. And there's lots of frequently asked questions. I defy you to not be able to find the answer to your question on the page on Firefly. So please do use that uh, and have a good look. And finally, from me, I, I do hope many of you are able to come and have a look around on Thursday if you're watching this um, after the event. And I hope you found all of the information that you want from this video. If you do want to find out anything else, please do contact us on info at shoreham-academy.org and we will get back to you with the answers to your questions. Thank you.